Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sonia and today we're going to be looking at, I guess, Shantikai. Maybe I should call this a Shantikai haul. I do have the new Danessa Myricks Dew Wet Balm in Sweetwater, which I'm going to try as well. So I don't know how I'm going to combine that, maybe put that in a separate video, I don't know yet. I have all my Shantikai products right here. And these are just products that I really, I really needed to have from Chantikai. Before we're going to continue on, let's first start with some insecurities of mine. <laughs> like, some people, they start with, like, outfit of the day or whatever. But I have a few insecurities that I really, I want to mention because I don't want to get read to filth on the internet. One, I have a huge cystic acne pimple on my neck. It hurts like hell. I'm not going to touch it because it's on my neck. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm like afraid I'm gonna like pop a vein <laughs> or something, but it's right there and I know and it's kind of freaking me out too. I have a lot of stress at work and in my personal life and whenever I have a lot of stress, I do pick my cuticles like crazy till they bleed. It's probably one of my worst habits that I have and when I show products, I definitely try to show them like this so you don't see any of my fingernails or my cuticles, but you know what? I'm just gonna take back the narrative. I just wanna tell you guys, I pick my cuticles, I'm human. I'm sort of like okay with it. I hope that once the stress is gone, then my cuticles will look beautiful again and I can show you products like a normal person. But right now, <laughs> yeah, I just need to be, like have this out there. I pick my cuticles, so I'm sorry if you see like a raggedy ass finger, or raggedy ass nail. That's just because I have stress. Anyway, let's go on to the first product. This is not a new product in my collection, but it is a Shantikai product. And since I sort of want to do a full face of Shantikai, let's start with my foundation. This is the Shantikai Cushion Foundation. It has been featured on my channel before. I have the shade Vanilla. There's not that many shades out there. So I kind of had to pick and choose and there's no Shantikai counters in the Netherlands. So everything I buy, I buy from online and watching reviews. Shantikai is a very expensive brand and I got this on a sale. And on a sale, this foundation cost me 100 euros. Like what? <laughs> it's crazy expensive. It is crazy beautiful though. I really like the finish of this. I just don't like how much product is in here. Again, what I do like about it is that if you buy one, like every compact, I believe, is a bottle that's fed to a baby elephant. So, you know, that's kind of what Shantikai like does. It makes beautiful products that are like too pricey, but then there's like a full and Anthropic, is that that a word philanthropic yeah anyway uh like aspect to it so therefore you feel like it's sort of okay to spend this type of money on their products but you know that's a whole other debate right now we're just going to look at my shots kai collection and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on foundation so this foundation does come with a puff but i'm using my rare beauty brush and just dunking it in i find that i get better application with that this foundation is buildable, but I like using a thin layer for this foundation. So that's all we're going to do for foundation. I think the shape match is pretty good, but if I use a little bit too much, then this becomes a little bit too peach toned on my skin. It's supposedly balanced undertone, which I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea what that means. Like balanced undertone, is that is that just not neutral? <laughs> Like, I, I just don't know. I don't know what the difference is between a neutral undertone and a balanced undertone. You, you feel me? I feel like balanced and neutral should be the same. I have no idea. But beautiful foundation nonetheless. Let's go in with maybe my under eyes. I don't have any concealer for um, Shantikai, but I do want to conceal a little bit. I decided to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury corrector kind of keep to that theme of low makeup makeup. I use this as a concealer. This is just to correct some of the darkness underneath my eyes. I'm gonna do brows, but I'm just gonna speed through those because I, I don't have any of the brow, Shantikai brow products. Okay, so I do have a Shantikai blush. I have the blush in Akoya. This came out in the holiday collection. 
of 2021 and I just had to have this collection. This is a beautiful blush and I actually still use this blush just on like very spring days or in combination with my Puppet Westman Atelier blush stick. I have no idea if this product is still available but this formula is still like being reproduced. So last year or a few years back, they had this formula, but then in a different color blush. It was with that flower packaging and that blush was peachier, but it was a similar style of blush. And it's just an amazing blush formula. So I'm gonna use this blush formula. Before I'll use this blush, I'm gonna go in with the Chantecaille powder that I have. This used to be a staple powder for me. I have the shade light medium and I just want to set my under eyes because that does get a little creasy and a little bit in my t-zone just because these are my creasy areas then let's move on again I'm not gonna go in with blush yet because I have this new sunbeam cheek and eye shade Brilliant all-in-one gel powder formula that gives eyes and cheeks a sun-kissed gleam of warmth that instantly flatters and defines. It has an 18-month shelf life. It's PETA approved. It has a net weight of 4.5 grams. And the outside packaging looks so not Chantecaille-esque. So it's like this neon color with like splashes of green and like lime. And then when you open it up, this is the inside. How stunning it was quite expensive i think i paid like 80 euros for it, it was crazy so <laughs> this shade is called ray and another reason why i wanted to pick this up is because that's actually my son's name so yeah i just couldn't resist i first kind of struggled with this motif i i don't know it just gave me all kinds of the heebie-jeebies but now seeing it up close this looks like a stunning shade so i'm gonna use this dense i think it's like a contouring brush i love this brush i'm gonna put it everywhere where i would normally put my bronzer It's like a blush bronzer highlight in one. Look how stunning that is. I put a little bit more on this side. I did go a little bit overboard with the color here, but let's see if we can diffuse that and make it look a little bit more natural. I'm not sure if it's worth the price yet, but it is a stunning color. So let's put a little bit in the eye sockets. And this is what that would look like. I would love to throw on a lip and just leave the door like this, but I have a few other products that I wanna mention. First, let's go into that blush that I keep on talking about. Use a little bit of this blush. You really don't need a lot. Like I just tap in a few times and a lot of pigment comes off. What I like about Sean Sky products is that this one also kind of has a, has a sheen to it, but since both of these have a sheen, they kind of complement each other. I have no idea if this fits the shade of lip that I chose, but I just want to show you guys my Chantecaille collection. This is the blush, and again, this formula is amazing. I have no idea if this blush is still available. If it is, I'll put it down in the affiliates down below because it's expensive, but I'll definitely recommend this blush formula. If not, Chantecaille comes out with this blush formula all the time, and the next time you see this blush formula, I'll let you know. Highlighter. Okay, from the same collection, so from the same blush collection with that beautiful pearlescence, Outside with like the pearls there was a highlighter that came out and I do want to use this highlighter This is that the day night outside so beautiful I still use this highlighter till this day I just tend to not use it on camera too much because again, I'm not a, I'm like kind of afraid that like there, It's not available anymore But I love this highlighter like just check it out on my nose area you can see a little bit of a, I guess, pinky tone. You don't need a lot. 
Love this highlighter. Again, a formula that comes back on Shansakai all the time. If it's not available, I'll let you know when it is available again, or maybe another shade will be available. And if it's still available, I'll let you know in the comment section down below. Okay, so before we move on to eyes, I do want to put something on my lips. I also got from that new collection, the same as the Ray Cheek and Eye shade. I got this lip tint hydrating balm. This is my first time trying a lip product by Shansakai. It's a little pricey, so therefore I never tried it. But I just kind of, I just had to. I hear so many good things about this lip formula just because it's pricey. I always thought, okay, ooh, like should I invest in it? But the two colors that came out in this collection, they look stunning. This packaging, I'm not, you know, I don't know if I'm living or not <laughs> for it. Like it's, it is what it is. It's very neon, very like non shansakai esque Let's swatch this. Maybe not over my um, other swatches. Ooh, this feels balmy. So this is what it swatches like. And I got the shade Sunflower. I'm gonna call it. This is probably one of like those products I'm gonna like use in the summer. Mmm. Oh, I'm living. I'm living for it. Let's look at my Shansakai eyeshadow collection. So I have two of the mermaid eyeshadows by Shansakai. I have the shade Seashell and Sylvie. I have a one of these uh, Shansakai, what are they called? Luminescent eyeshades. I got the shade in Pangolin. This was probably one of the most expensive thing I ever owned for a long time. And so I'll be honest with you, it's not my favorite formula. It's not a bad formula, just not my favorite. I have this shade Baroque from that same collection as the highlighter and the blush. This formula, I feel is like very similar to the Ray formula. The Ray formula feels much uh, harder in the pan. This one feels so creamy, but in terms of finish, I think they are very similar. This is sort of a um, dual chrome, so on one side you feel like it looks pinky, but if you turn it, so maybe I can do this like this, see? You think it's like brown. To continue on with what I have from Shansakai, I have one of these eye duos. These are the Le Chrome Luxe Eye Duo. This is in the shade Tibet. This is relatively new in my collection, so I'll maybe feature this another time because it's such a cool tone look and I'm really digging this kind of like warm tones. I lastly have the Giraffe Eye Quartet. I did not feature this on my channel just yet and I recently got this, but I haven't used this yet. So you probably have seen already like a few of the reviews on this, but I'm thinking about going in at least with the matte tones in this just to deepen out my outer corners and my crease area, and then we'll see. So let's go in with this lighter matte shade, and let's put this in the crease. Then let's go into this darker matte formula, and let's deepen out the crease and also deepen out the outer corner. Let's use the Ray shadow for my lid area. Maybe I'll just do it halfway and halfway something else. Okay, this is really beautiful. Then let's go in with my seashell shade of the Mermaid Eye Colors. And I want to go in the inner corner, maybe put a tiny bit on my brow bone. I have some real estate left, so I could go in with this purpley shade right here. This is such a stunning shade. I believe that type of glitter is the same as the Baroque shadow that I have. So that single shadow that I just talked about. But I think that this Baroque shadow would be a better complement to this eye look for this particular instance. So I'm gonna put it right here. Then let's finish off for the bottom lash line. I'm going to go in with Sylvie. And this is what it looks like so far.
So having that Baroque shade just right here, I don't know, I kind of like it. It's not, it's not usually something that I do, but it just gives the eye a little bit more dimension. So one day I would love to do a video on all of my Shansegai eyeshadow formulas and just talk about them and see the difference of them and the different finishes of them, but that's not going to be this video. I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of mascara and then I'll do the outro. All right, guys, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? So personally, I actually love everything that I have from Shansikai. The one thing that I usually struggle with with Shansikai is the price. I don't always feel like the price justifies the products, you know, how beautiful the product is. I think there should be a little bit more balance in that. The product either needs to just be freaking amazing or, you know, the price needs to go down. So let's kind of go into everything that I tried from Shansikai. The foundation is absolutely beautiful. So you get this compact and you get a refill with it. These refills, unfortunately, are not sold separately. And I kind of bought this compact because I thought they were going to be sold separately at some point, which makes this an incredibly expensive purchase. I think it has, yeah, it has an eight month shelf life. So even for a foundation, I find that very short. I do love the finish of this. I think it looks incredibly beautiful and I do like how easy it is to travel with this. I don't necessarily like the puff that comes with it. I don't even know where the puff is. It kind of fell and then I, I never picked it up. I have no idea. It's probably somewhere underneath my desk. So yeah, that puff is just not my thing and I love Korean beauty puffs. But unfortunately, this one is just a no-go for me. This is also made in Japan, not in Korea. So maybe puffs in Japan are a bit harder. I have no idea. For the price, I feel like it should be a phenomenal product. I think it's an amazing foundation that I still reach for it till this day. It even might be one of my like top five foundations right now. I just think it's an incredibly expensive foundation. I would never recommend you buying this foundation at its full price. I would definitely recommend to buy this foundation when it has a bit of a discount because it's still gonna be expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Second product that I think I tried on the skin is my powder. This is, you know, one of, I think this is one of the first products I ever bought from Shansikai and I really was looking for a setting powder. I like, you know, I don't really like loose powders. I like setting powders that are in a compact. And for a while, this basically had like a motif on it. And for a while, this was like all I used. I think it's a nice powder. It's not my favorite powder now that I compare it to some of my other favorites. I like to set the face with this and setting the under eye is okay, but I feel like it doesn't always really do the job that I want it to do. So therefore I don't reach for this powder too often anymore. It's still a beautiful powder. I just don't, you know, I don't go hoo-ha over it anymore like I did in the beginning. It's incredibly expensive as well. I think I paid about 80 euros for it, which I think is crazy for a powder. It's such a luxury powder. But then again, I also paid 80 euros for my Westman Atelier powder. That powder, by the way, does outperform this one and that one is refillable. I hope they come out with refills pretty soon. Um, if you are interested in this powder, this is a Big Chalet formula, so it does take forever to pan. Like, I used the crap out of this and I took away the motif, but it, I'm nowhere, nowhere to the end. So I will say, technically, that also plays a part in like, you know, the longevity of the powder and how like, how long you can use this. I feel like 80 euros, if you can use it for a freaking long time, is actually okay. It also has a 30 month shelf life. It has eight grams in here. It's made in Italy. I feel like all Bake Chalet products are made in Italy. But yeah, I, I can't really vouch for the powder. Again, if you can get it on the sale and you're still interested after this review, uh, get it. I have all the affiliates down below. Um, check it out. Then after the powder, I think I went in with the blush. Now I've talked about the blush formula and this collection a little bit. So this is that a uh, collection that like they came out with 2021 uh, holidays. It's such an amazing collection. It was just so simple and elegant and all of it was hella expensive. I got it on a sale, <laughs> all of it. I just got the entire collection on the sale. I just couldn't. And I had to get all three because I first got two of the products and then I realized, I'm sorry, I just have to get all three just so that they can be centerpieces in my collection. I don't think I'll ever get rid of these just because they look so beautiful next to each other, like in my collection. I think having some of these just 
out there on my vanity or anything and all of the products perform really well i think the sleeper hits of this collection was actually the blush so if you ever see this blush or you see this blush formula i highly recommend it i love the sheen that this blush gives and that like extreme pink it's not going to be like that on the cheeks you have to use a little bit you get this really beautiful pink glow that looks actually very natural the other hit that I like is the highlighter, such a beautiful highlighter. I use this for if I do purple looks and I use it in my inner corner just because it has a purple hue in it. I do mess up the motif that's on here, that beautiful bird motif, Degourney motif or whatever. But I feel like products, even Chanskare products just need to be used. So, you know, it just happens. The Baroque eyeshadow is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I'm not even kidding. I think this is a great formula. My one but is um, the shift that it has. I like the pink, but the shift to brown, I don't know. Maybe the brown is a little bit too yellow on my skin. I don't think it flatters my skin tone. So I don't necessarily gravitate towards this unless I'm using a it in an eye look like this one. That's kind of my two cents on that. But all three products perform amazingly. If you can still get them, get them i'll make sure to link anything down below if you can still get them oh almost forgot because we have used this this ray a cheek and eye shadow what is this called my cheek and eye shade so before i forget this has a 4.5 gram net weight let me see yeah it's made in italy it is a baked chalet and what else can i say about this it's a beautiful beautiful shade this complements my skin tone amazingly it has a bit of a peachiness to it it looks a little bronze it has this sort of like quality where it can be a blush bronze and a highlight and i like that i can see me using this just foundation concealer powder using this a little bit of mascara and put something on the lips and leave the house like i can see this as just one of those products that i gravitate towards in the summer it's a limited edition uh, i would recommend it again i would recommend this on a sale it is a little bit too expensive i feel for what it is because it you know, basically is a single shadow it's large enough to put your brush into it for your cheek area so i'm not saying that it's uh it shouldn't be used on the cheeks i think it looked great on cheeks and eyes um but that's just my two cents again this kind of walks that line of like it's a beautiful product i just don't know if you should get it for this price the guy goes on sale all the time uh again make sure to look at the fillets down below maybe one of them is on sale right now of course of that same collection was this beautiful lip balm yeah this to me i i, I really got excited of the photos with the ray cheek and eye shade but this oh this is freaking amazing it just oh it feels so nice on the lips i understand the popularity of this product 100 percent. i would definitely consider getting this if you haven't tried any lip colors yet from shantikai this sunflower shade uh, you know it adds a little bit of shade but definitely feels like a balm it's probably the creamiest balm i've ever i've ever tried so i really want to know how it wears freaking beautiful um, 100% recommends and I would even recommend this just full price then let's talk eyeshadows this quad now I've been using this quad off camera this is of course its debut on my channel but I've had this quad for a little while I was way too late to do a review on this you know all the reviews were already out but this is definitely a purchase of mine that I got I got it on a sale and I got it basically for me. I've always wanted a Shotsky eyeshadow quad and this quad just spoke to me. <laughs> you know when something starts itching and you can't really let it go? This one itched and itched and itched away until I was like fine I'll give in I'm buying this. This shade however did come in broken so I had to push it back in and now that I've pushed it back in it still functions um, but be mindful of that. This is a very fragile shade, but as an eye quad, freaking beautiful. Again, I want to do a video on all of my Shantikai eyeshadow shades and whatnots, and I'll probably feature this palette as well, just on its own. You can see it on my skin tone. It's just a such a such a stunning palette. I kind of struggled with this like really white, stark white shade. It's a little bit too cool tone white for me, if you ask me. But I'm happy that it's in there because I always feel like every great quad should have a outer corner dark shade and an inner corner highlight shade and this quad is perfect for that what else did i put on the face yeah these two 
um, eyeshadows, these uh, Mermaid eyeshadows. I have this for quite some time. I do want to talk about these a little bit more in another video because I love the way that this applies. I don't like the way that this wears. And I'll show you one day in a video how it actually wears if you don't use an eye primer with this one. Seashell just in the inner corner or on the um, brow bone area is freaking stunning. So again, application of these, very beautiful, but on the lids, they can um, look pretty bad. <laughs> Would not recommend the full price of them. Any of these, if you can get it on the sale, please do. I think those are all the Shantikai products that I tried today. I really try to feature a little bit of Shantikai here and there just because I think I'm kind of in love with the brand. I'm just not in love with the prices. So subscribe to my channel if you like luxury beauty. Also like this video. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding these products. I still have the time to comment everyone back. I'm a small channel so make use of that. And uh, don't worry, you can literally say anything to me as long as it's mindful and not hateful. <laughs> Even if it's criticism on how I use the products, uh, constructive criticism, I'm here for it. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it. I'm gonna round up the video here. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye!